Alrighty, good morning. We can't even get the camera to stay put. This is gonna. Could you stop it? I'm trying to talk to the people here. Oh, can't even put you there. Oh my God, this is terrible. There we go. Hey, stop it! I'm gonna beat the crap out of you. I'm trying to do my coffee, man. Never interrupt a trucker when he's trying to do his coffee in the morning. Hey, so we've just rinsed her out with the hot water. Now we gotta wipe her out. Some of you are asking what I do with it. Yeah, well, when I boil my water there, it'll give her a good clean out. And I rinse her out usually the day before, but then I apply the hot water in the morning. Just to give it a final rinse. And then we pour the water in my bowl. And then we'll give it a rinse and dump. And then we dry it out. So anyway, it is uh, this place is a freaking shithole, man. Oh my gosh, it gets worse and worse every time I come here. And it's the little things. They, first off, they overcharge here in Mexico. Not the country people. Mexico, New York, the truck stop. So I never buy anything here because they overcharge on everything. And I mean everything. Um, their washrooms have never been great. But they're just getting worse and worse. Freaking disgusting in there. I don't know how you can run a truck. They'd have a little gold mine here. There's nothing around here. You'd think they would make a half-ass effort to freaking take care of the place. But I mean, no latches on the doors. Floor was filthy. The toilets were filthy almost. You know, pretty much. Nothing to write home about, that's for damn sure. Uh, anyway, no paper towels, the sinks were filthy. Get your nose out of there, you're gonna get burnt! She likes coffee, would you believe it? She actually likes coffee. I think it might be the sweetness in there, I'm not sure. Because of the sugar? I don't know. She loves coffee. Okay. Get that in place. And we gotta rock and roll. Gotta get out of this bubble gum stand here. Dump my bowl of water. And, and we're gonna rock and roll. Oh my lord. Okay, we're stuck here at a red light, as you can see. But we still got that much further to go to get to the interstate. And it's taken an hour and 15 minutes to travel two and a half miles. Freaking crazy this Highway 17 it is. I'm telling you, it's crazy. I mean, the rest of the highway was fine. And we were able to get there. But, as far as the rest of it goes, oh my freaking lord. I mean, I know this is all under construction here, but it shouldn't really affect it. Because, I mean, it was... Yeah, okay, we lost one lane initially. But still, oh my gosh, how freaking horrid. Absolutely horrid. Hey, is there a truck stop here now? Coastal can't be a... East Coast can't be a truck stop now. There's trucks turning into it. They sell truck diesel. But it's not... They don't have truck parking, so... So I see the truck turning in there, and there's a TMC turning in. There's other trucks in the ass. So it's just that they sell diesel, but... see a diesel price to make it cheap oh it's 259 diesel wow that's cheap it's 20 cents cheaper than what it was up by Winchester huh well I can't get over there to get it so oh well we still got just under half a tank so we can make our delivery on this I don't know what our pickup is though oh well we're rolling again lights gone green all right we have made it to our stop for tonight we pretty much down to 38 minutes here. I change that to sleeper. That's all we got left for today. We wouldn't have made it to the customer because it's still 62 miles. We're in uh, Ruther Glen, Virginia. The Flying J, basically just before Ashland. 62 miles to go to get to the customer. So, yep, I called it right. Oh, well, what can you do? Anyways, it's dinner time. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling spaghetti again.